Good morning, guys. My name's Sandy. This is Sawing with Sandy. And if you've been around the channel before, you probably know exactly where I'm standing. And it's a little bit covered in snow right now, but I'm out here in my red pine forest where I'm often at, and I'm not skidding logs today, but I am about to introduce you to a new tool that's gonna complement this right here. Now this right here, if you have been around the channel, you've seen this in action as well. This is my Wallenstein FX85 skidding winch. This thing gets the trees to the point I'm standing. And if you look up there, you can see some of the remnants. This thing is currently hooked up to another thing that I am super excited to introduce you to today. This right here is a brand new log loader trailer. This thing is going to basically change my operation. If you've seen me out here in the spring, even summer and fall, you've seen me moving around logs with the skidding winch. That does just fine, but oftentimes I'm skidding it through the dirt. That dirt makes its way back to the sawmill, into my chainsaw, and well, it doesn't cut quite as well. This thing right here, as we'll find out in a second, has a lot of uh, a lot of capability to it and something I'm very happy to introduce you to and something you're gonna see on the channel for the next while. So the man on my right is about to tell us all about this because he's the expert here. This is Tom. Tom is the product manager at Wallenstein. And if you're not familiar, Wallenstein is a company in Wallenstein, Ontario, Canada, makes a lot of products, including that skidding winch, this log loader trailer, and well, a heck of a lot of other stuff. So Tom, welcome. And uh, if you could just give us a a once over of this log loader trailer. I'm super excited to hear about it. As you can see here, um, this is our LXT95 log trailer. It is in our off-road trailer. We do have two separate models, a highway, a highway capable unit, as well as this one, which would be your off-road. So this unit is capable of towing 5,000 pound capacity um, with the grapple itself being able to lift 800 pounds. This unit is featured in our Black Shadows Realtree camo. So we have a partnership with Realtree. Yeah, this is our second crack at a camo model. And man, we're pretty excited about what uh, what's come out of this. As we said, 5,000 pound capacity for the bed, 800 pound lift capacity with the boom. You do have a nine foot six reach horizontally uh, to the log pile, which we're gonna check out here in a minute, as well as a 12 foot 11 inch uh, vertical lift so capabilities are um, endless with this unit you do have 270 degree rotation which allows for a safe workspace for you when you're operating the machine pivot around to the side here we uh we're working with our friends at vanguard vanguard is a uh, subsidiary of briggs and stratton this would be their commercial line of engines so number one cyclonic air filter on um, the majority of their small engines with the application with Wallenstein, Wallenstein runs in being prim primarily wood with chipping splitting um, you name it so cyclonic air filter for a little bit of extra protection for your engine as well as a feature which they call transport guard um, which has the fuel shut off actually built right into the throttle lever so as you um, as you depress the throttle your fuel will shut off automatically so you're not running into fuel in the crankcase issues. It's just gonna automatically shut off. So that's a big, big feature that we are thankful for. Moving on from there, you'll see uh, the operator platform here. So this is actually on a swivel. So instead of being stuck in one position, either left or right or in the center of the trailer, you are actually able to swivel this, this um, operator platform from side to side. So rule of thumb, log piles on my right. I'm gonna stand on the left to make sure that I'm out of the, the line of fire and make sure that uh, I'm safe and going home to my family at night. So that is a, a big feature that we like, that we are proud of. You see down below here as well, um, this is our surge brake feature for the off-road unit. So needing brakes that are electronically controlled is problematic depending on what you're using in the bush. Um, not everything has a 12 volt power access. These surge brakes are operated mechanically by the tongue here. We do have the lockout tab in currently as we're lifting logs but what this does when this is out is the the tongue will compress and as it compresses it's going to compress into this master cylinder which is here and which is going to apply the brakes which sandy can probably show you there um, where the two uh, brake housings are so this is a, a super safe way to, to to operate through the bush as we're going down the hills especially with uh, the type of machine that you're using Using a tractor this size isn't quite as uh, problematic, but if you're using, say, an ATV or a side-by-side, -side, this is something you absolutely need when you're hauling logs out of the bush. Well, we'll pop up the, uh, the brake lock here. You can see um, the coupler here for the trailer is actually on this pivot, on a circular pivot here. So this piece, while you won't be able to see it right now as there's weight on it with the trailer, um, this will actually twist and turn with your uh, 
as you're going through the bush. Moving along over to this side, you'll see a pin here, simple clevis pin uh, below. We'll unhook this, and this is just for your transport. So this is going to lock this whole boom mechanism in place, allow, not allowing for your boom to be moving back and forth, swinging out to the side, um, which can be problematic for a number of reasons. So uh, lock, safety lockout pin, convenient location just to pop it out, stick it in, away you go. Uh, down below, Sandy and I have been talking about maintenance, and um, just wanted to highlight here where the oil filters are. We uh, we at Wallenstein are big believers in oil filtration, so oil uh, oil filter there right beside the tank, uh, easy access to uh, to change over. Moving back along the side, hydraulic stabilizers on either side, and they're individually operated through the operator panel. This is just going to provide you the stability you need when uh, when lifting from the side with the boom. As we talked about before, the black on black look um, on the tires. We have bigger off-road flotation type tires. You're going to see the great big lugs in here, similar to what you find on an ATV or anything that's going to spend a lot of time off-road. Uh, there's a the walking axle here as well behind. So for trail riding, um, not many people's trails are, are flat and straight. So this is actually going to walk with you as you're going over um, dips and valleys. You're going to be able to keep your trailer level while your axles are going to walk and do the work for you. So another great feature of this trailer. In the middle portion here, but this is a hydraulic sliding axle. So what you're able to do is increase or decrease tongue weight depending on what your application is. I, I had mentioned before these are capable for an ATV and ATVs obviously have their limitations with weight capacities and with towing. This gives you the option to move this axle forward, lock it in place, and take the brunt of the weight off of the ATV. If you do look at our website, wallensteinequipment.com, we do have an ATV load rating calculator. So we want to make sure that anybody operating this trailer operating, operating it safely. And what you're going to find there is most ATVs, make and model, you punch that into our website and you're going to see right there what kind of capacity you can carry with this trailer. Another feature here are their bunk posts. So all log trailers are equipped with a set of bunk posts. You'll see four on either side in this trailer. One thing that we like to do is, um, is make these a little less rigid. Well, how we do that is our self-centering style bunk posts. So, so what this does as, you are, uh, as you're operating and something happens and you swing the log too quickly back towards the machine or whatever the case might be and you'd make contact with these bunk posts. These are meant to swivel and to move. So you can see quite a lot of uh, movement here. And essentially what's gonna happen is you hit it, slide back into place. Then to the back, uh, which gives us a good, uh, good view of our claw here. So the grapple here is gonna be a 30 inch grapple max opening and uh, a fully closed uh, would be three inches so you'll see how these uh, how these grapple tines will actually intertwine between each other and that's what gives you that extra bit of grab they don't clamp directly together but move within each other to uh, to get you down to a three inch uh, piece of wood so anything that you have in your bush from three to thirty inches won't have any issue with using and I uh, wanted to mention too that this is a fully rotating grapple, so 360 degree rotation, uh, which is super helpful when you're uh, trying to pick a log up and either position it properly to get it into the trailer, you are able to both lift and maneuver, but also rotate to, to assist you to get the log to its place. Now also you'll have noticed down here, we have two separate uh, tie back places. This is good for trailering. If you need to throw this off-road trailer onto a highway towable trailer. So if you do get a full load of logs on the trailer, which we're gonna have here shortly, um, and you have to trailer that out of the bush, uh, it can be problematic when your logs are icy, they are slippery, and you have a fair amount of hill. So that, that gives you a position to actually run your straps through in this position here, as well as up front here two separate locations where you're able to run that strap through and that'll secure your load and make sure that you're not repicking anything up. Back behind these tie down points, you will see a bracket here. This is actually a bracket for a slow moving vehicle sign. Uh, we do send the slow moving vehicle sign with the trailer itself, but we have uh, decided to take it off just due to the application back here in the bush. As Sandy has met, had mentioned, Wallenstein is actually a, a small town just outside of Kitchener-Waterloo. And uh, we're proud to say that we've been manufacturing uh, all of our equipment in that area for over 25 years. We are a big believer in the Made in Canada slogan. We're not just a Canadian-owned company. We are a company that manufactures here in Canada. And uh, we back that up. We back that up, as you can see right here on the boom, uh, with our five-year warranty. Our warranty covers five years, um, no hour limitation. Uh, it's a residential warranty and that covers service, that covers parts, 
Nah, there's no prorated, no nothing like that. We are a company that stands behind our products and we want to show that. So you'll see that within the quality that you, you see in this machine. As you look over this machine, we had already talked about the, the oil filtration. You'll look at any place that has a pivot, you're going to see grease fittings everywhere that you can see. So maintenance is key. We want to make sure that you're not uh, having to go back to replacing parts, but, but are able to maintain your machine properly. All right, enough talking about specs. Let's uh, let's fire this thing up and see what it can do. We'll, uh, we'll fire the engine up here. Should still be warm from earlier.
All right, guys, we just saw Tom, who is very, very skilled at this, do this. Now, I'm going to give it a try. And one thing is for certain, I'm not going to be good, but don't laugh. And so uh, this is actually my uh, very first time sort of taking the controls myself. So, Tom, please stop me if I'm about to do anything I shouldn't. Uh, okay, so just, just that lever. So far, so good. guys I gotta tell you there's a lot of fun things I do out here in the woods and you know I winch things and cut things and skid things that is probably one of the most fun things that I've done in a while and uh, I'm really happy and excited to be able to try that over the next while so hopefully Tom doesn't laugh too hard but I think I did half decent what do you guys think well guys I think that's gonna just about do it for us here today big thank you to Tom here on my right Tom traveled all the way from Wallenstein Ontario up here to, uh, to show me the ropes with this thing. And I think this uh, LXT95, I think this log loader trailer hooked up to the back of my tractor. And well, maybe my ATV is definitely gonna be a game changer for me. And it's gonna change the way that I get logs all around the property, but not just logs. I'm gonna move slab wood with this. I'm probably gonna take brush and move it around. And I'm sure I'll come up with all kinds of uses. And as we sort of talk about that, I've got ideas swirling around in my head, so. Make sure you guys come back and see that. And as I said, if you had any questions at all, make sure you put it down below in the comments. I'm still learning the game with this thing. I'm sure as I continue to use it, I'll get a little bit better. And uh, as always, I appreciate you watching. Make sure if you haven't done so already, give her the old like a subscribe, and I'll see you next time.